In this video, we're going to learn how to take a curtain wall and add a door to it. Now, the curtain wall, as you might know, is on a grid system. So right now we have a piece of glass, we have a grid, and then we have mullions around that grid. This is the storefront curtain wall that Revit has pre-made. Essentially what we can do is we can edit this grid to be the size of the door that we want it to be. So I'm going to go to the architecture tab after clicking on that window icon. I'm going to go up and I'm going to go to where it says curtain grid. When I click on that, as I hover over this surface, I can see different spots that this grid might show up. I can edit that. So if I hover along the vertical side here, I can place a horizontal line and I can see some dimensions and I can edit that. Now 70, uh, 80, 80 inches is the height of a residential door. So that's six foot eight. So I'm gonna go down to six foot eight and click. And right here I can see this is six foot eight. If I'm not happy with that, I can click in on there and I can change the height. Now I know if I add a door inside this area, that's gonna be six foot eight as far as the height. The width on this, I select that mullion, unpin it, and just delete that out. This grid here is three foot, uh, three foot eight inches and a half. If I want to change that to not be center on this wall, let's say I want that to be exactly three foot from this side, I can unpin it. Notice how it didn't move before. Three foot, hit enter, and now that's going to be three foot over on this side. All right? It's asymmetrical right now. What I can do is then pin that again if I don't want that to move. We can go back to architecture. We can throw on a mullion just in that spot. And then now we can actually take this panel and unpin it to put a door there. So I'm going to hover over that edge. And what I did, if you missed it, I'm hovering over this edge. And I'm going to just hit tab. It's going to cycle through all the options that are close to my mouse. And then once I see the blue box around the panel that I want, I'm going to click once and unpin that. When I unpin it, it means it's editable. I'm going to go down on my properties here, and I'm going to see if I can find a door that can pop into there. If we don't see one as an option, we have to load one from the families. So we can go to insert, load family. We're going to look under the doors, and we're going to go and find a curtain wall door. So here we see curtain wall double glass, Storefront single glass is what I'm going to choose because I made the door width the width of a single. If I would have done six foot, I could put in a double glass door there. Now, if we're going to actually do a storefront for a commercial property, obviously our doors are going to have to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to do single glass door and say open. Now that that family's loaded into Revit, I'm going to have to do the same thing. Hover with my mouse close to the edge, hit tab until I find it, and then click, and then I can go to my properties panel here and it's going to recognize that this door single glass can fit in there and so I've placed that door into the model okay so now when I go to click on that panel I hit tab let's just prove that it's there door curtain wall glass okay and it's kind of hard to tell that it, that's what it is but let's go to our plan view level one and we can see that we have our door in there. It's our curtain wall door. And then in 3D mode, I had turned on the glasses to isolate 